Hey everybody, welcome back to One Mic, where I watch shit so you don't have to. And today I'm here for the fifth video in the Future State series, entitled Future State 5. Um, the reason I'm putting this video out is because right now I've kind of reached a pivotal moment in my coverage on this channel. And I feel like it's a good time to just kind of update you guys on what's been happening, where I stand, and what's going to be happening going forward. If any of you are concerned about this channel going away, like I'm about to announce that, that I'm going to stop covering shit, that ain't happening. That's not happening for the foreseeable future. But uh, what I mean by a pivotal time, so for the entirety of this channel, I've been working from home uh, at my day job, which has made it a lot easier to work on these videos simultaneously while I'm actually doing my day job. Uh, you know, I could just spin around and, 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 you know, do edits or whatever the case may be, right? And that's allowed me to be able to put these videos out in a timely fashion. But, uh, oh, also couple that with the fact that uh, at the beginning of September, I had my fourth kid. So I've been on paternity leave since the beginning of September and we're now at the end of October. So I'll let you guys know for pretty much uh, two months, I haven't even had to deal with at home work, you know? So it's really just been... You know, watching the stuff that I provide you guys the content with, getting the content out, and of course, raising this newborn baby. But now, Monday, I go back into the... Well, Monday, I start work again from my paternity leave, but then also next week, we start going back into the office three days a week, Tuesday through Thursday. So what that's going to do is that's really going to hinder my ability to watch stuff and get videos out, get content out during the middle of the week. Um, right now, I feel like the channel's at a place where... I'm probably at about a point where I'm comfortable trying to get screeners, at least trying. I, I don't imagine that I'm get, gonna get very much success, but if I can get screeners, that's gonna help me a ton because then I can watch all the shit during the days that I'm not in the office, Monday, Friday, and on the weekend, get those videos recorded, especially if it's for stuff for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, get those videos recorded, get those videos ready to go so that way they automatically post on those days, and then being in the office doesn't hinder me at all. But that relies on getting screeners, which I'm going to try to do, but I, I don't imagine I'm going to have much success. But um, that's one of the things that I plan on doing, but I have to prepare for the possibility of me not getting any fucking screeners at all, which is, I think, the, <laughs> a pretty likely scenario. So um, what I want to do with this Future State 5 is I want to lay out um, what's coming to the Patreon first. So I'm going to lay out what's coming to specific tiers, um, you know, what's coming to, uh, like specifically, like what I'm going to be talking about on Mike's musings, that kind of stuff. I want to lay out what's going to happen with the Patreon first, and then I'm going to talk about the plan for this channel, the stuff that's the non-Patreon content, what I'm going to be covering, how I plan on covering it, just kind of, not, and this is not extensive by any means. Like this, there's actually not going to be that much stuff I'm going to be able to talk about because a lot of the stuff, uh, over the course of these final two months, like, I don't have dates for. I don't know when it's coming out. Some of this stuff I think might be coming out in November, December. It's probably not coming out till 2023. So there's not much to cover there, but I do want to just kind of lay out at least where my mind is at at this point. So, uh, and, and if you have any questions about any of the, the, anything that I say in this video, pop it in the comments. I imagine I'm not going to get a shit ton of comments, so I should be able to reply if you have a question. But, um, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, uh, for the Patreon, which as I have mentioned several times, uh, on here, you can click on the major announcement video, which um, I haven't considered trying to put a clickable link on the on this video, but I'm thinking about it now. So um, if I figure out how to <laughs> how to put a clickable link to the major announcement video, you'll find it somewhere down there <laughs> if I can figure it out. But if not, uh, there's a link to the Patreon in the episode description, as there is on every video, and that breaks down all the tiers, what they cost, and what you get. So. Uh, for the Patreon, for the $1 tier, which obviously everybody who joins the Patreon is going to get, I have Fight Talk 33 coming. I'm going to be doing that on probably Sunday. I was going to do it this past Sunday after UFC 280, but uh, that Sunday was a very busy day. Uh, I, I just didn't have time to record anything. And also, I think this upcoming weekend slate of uh, combat sports is good enough that it would be kind of silly for me to do a Fight Talk right now have the shit that's happening this weekend happen, but then I don't talk about it till Fight Talk 34 in a month. So I'm like, I'll just wait till Sunday to get that out, and, and then I'll 
be able to add this weekend stuff. So uh, what's going to be on Fight Talk 33? I'm going to talk about, so uh, for UFC, uh, we have uh, Sanhagen versus Song Yudong, that event. I'm going to be talking about that. Very little, by the way. I'm, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time on uh, these fight night things. Um, Grasso versus Ariujo, Dern versus Yao Jian, Jiao Nan. Uh, those are the fight talk, I mean, the fight, UFC fight nights that I'm going to briefly discuss. I'm probably only going to talk about the main event and what's next for the winners and losers of the main event, maybe the co-main, any fights on that card that I think are worth talking about, but we're not going to spend a lot of time there. Um, I'm going to talk about the crazy day that was the same day as the uh, Grosso versus Ariujo UFC event. There was a lot of boxing that day. We had uh, Clarissa Shields um, versus, uh, I forget, what was her name, Marshall or something? Uh, or is that who Baumgartner fought? I don't know. Uh, Clarissa Shields had a fight. Baumgart Baumgartner had a fight, which I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'll have those. Who I'll have the opponents figured out by the time I record it on Sunday. It's escaping me right now. Uh, Devin Haney versus George Cambosis two was that night. Plant versus Darrell Wilder versus Hellenius. Like Hellenius, lots of boxing that day. I'm gonna, I watched all of those. So uh, I'm gonna talk about those again, very very briefly, very briefly. Um, uh, one on Prime which is One Championship's MMA organization, how they've been having these Amazon events. I talked about it on Fight Talk 32 because I did a thing with Amazon where, I'm sorry, with One, where we kind of like critiqued the nature of the event. Like, you know, not, not just like how good were the fights, but just like the whole production. And uh, you could win stuff. I ended up winning an autographed hat from giving good feedback. <laughs> surprise, surprise. The guy, <laughs> the guy that does all these reviews on this channel gave some good feedback. Uh, but... Uh, one on Prime 2 and 3 both happened since I last recorded. And again, not a huge amount of time spent on this, but I am going to talk about my experience with that. Not just the fights on those cards, but just the experience as a whole. Because it has been very unique, especially in a world where, in, in, in an MMA world where the UFC just dominates. Um, and then, of course, I'll be talking about UFC 280. That's probably where I'm going to be spending most of my time uh, for Fight Talk 33. So you can expect that on Sunday. I expect this to be a fairly long episode, but. Hey, if you're a combat sports fan, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, for the $3 tier, those of you who, who are subscribed to the $3 tier, I have a retro reviews coming. I believe it's retro reviews four for the movie Dark City, which I was a big fan of when I was a teenager. Um, I have not seen it since then, so I don't know if it was any good. 17-year-old uh, me thought it was great. 40-year-old me, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to think. I haven't watched it again yet. Uh, but I want to get that out really fucking soon. So um, my goal is to try to watch watch it probably sometime before the weekend is out. So like today, tomorrow, uh, I'm saying today, tomorrow, like, like, like the only day you're going to, anyone's ever going to watch this video is today. Uh, today, Thursday, October 27th, Friday, the 28th, uh, Saturday, the 29th or Sunday, the 30th. I want to try to watch that and then get that video recorded, hopefully, uh, on Monday, since I no longer have a Sunday show that I'm for sure covering, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, the $5 tier, those of you uh, who are subscribed to the $5 tier, get your request in. Brett Factual, uh, he requested a Mike's VO, a one mic VOD for Tales from the Loop, which I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Uh, get a couple, got a couple of $5 tier subscribers over the course of the past week or so. Get some requests in, man. Like, I, I'll watch whatever it is. You get two episodes. Uh, for, I think you, you could choose which two episodes. I, I mean, I'd, of course, recommend the first two if I were you. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, get those requests in. Uh, and if you're not sure what you can request, just hit the Patreon and look and see. But it, I, I believe it's two episodes and I think you, or, or a movie. And then the $10 tier, you get the same thing. Get your request in. Only one of you is subscribed to the $10 tier, but uh, you can get requested as well. But you can do extra requests, like a whole season or a longer movie. Um, and then you get Mike's Musings, which is me talking about all the stuff that I don't cover full time on this channel. So it's like, oh, I've been watching stuff I watch in my free time. Oh, I've been watching this. This is what I thought about it. I've been watching that. This is what I thought about it. I've already put out two at that tier. Again, only one of you is subscribed at the $10 tier, so only one of you has had the ability to watch those videos. But hey, I promise the shit's going to be there, so it's fucking there. Uh, if you're interested in... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually about to run off right now the shows that I'm going to talk about on Mike's Musings 3, which is going to come at some point in early November uh, at the $10 tier. So if you want this video, here's the shit I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about uh, Andor, I've talked about the first, I think, maybe like three episodes or first couple episodes in Mike's Musings 2. By the time Mike's Musings 3 comes out, 
there will pro and or will probably be uh, episode eight dropped yesterday, October 26th. Um, you know, maybe another one or two will have come out. It's a 12 episode season, but I'll talk about Andor. I finished Tales from the Loop. So Brett Factual's uh, two episode request ended up being, I ended up watching the whole thing. So uh, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about She-Hulk as a whole. That ended since Mike's Musings 2. I'm going to talk about The Watcher, which is on Netflix, starring Bobby Cannavale and um, uh, Naomi Watts. I'm going to be talking about Peaky Blinders, which is an older show, but I just started watching it just for shits and giggles. I've had my eye on it for several years. Um, I'm currently in the middle of season four of Peaky Blinders. By the time Mike's Musings 3 gets recorded, I'll probably be done with Peaky Blinders. So uh, I'll talk about Peaky Blinders as a whole. Uh, the Simpsons and Family Guy. Uh, I am the undisputed champion of Simpsons fandom and knowledge for like the first 10 seasons. Um, after that, the show declined. It started to wane. I watched it far less. And then probably around season 14 or 15, maybe a little bit later, I, I pretty much stopped watching altogether. It just wasn't any good. And I was working out the other day and I said, fuck it, let me turn it on on Hulu. And I actually thought both shows were actually pretty good. Um, so, I, and, and I noticed why. So I'm going to talk about what I the changes that I feel uh, that The Simpsons in particular has done that I'm assuming has allowed this longevity to where they're now on season like 34 or some shit like that. And what's allowed them to stay along, stay around this long? Because I was confused by it. I'm like, I stopped, like, this is my favorite show ever. <laughs> and I stopped watching it. 15 years ago. So what the, like, how the fuck is it still on? Well, I got an idea now. Uh, I'm going to talk about Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, uh, which just dropped uh, two, it's like, I think it's eight total episodes in an anthology series, two each week. And they dropped the first two, I believe on Wednesday. I've only watched the first one, but I'm probably going to watch the second one tonight. So I'll talk about that. Those two, or, you know, depending on when Mike's Music 3 comes out, maybe I will have watched another two. Um, I'll talk about that. And then I'm going to talk about Love is Blind Season 3. I watch a little bit of reality TV every now and then. Um, so I've watched Love is Blind Season 3. I've watched every episode that's been released so far, which is as of today, the 27th. They put out another three episodes yesterday, and then me and my wife watched all three. So I'm fully caught up on that. Whenever Mike's Musings 3 comes out, that season will likely be completed. But it doesn't matter. It's a fucking reality show. So that's what's going to be on Mike's Musings 3 which is going to be at the $10 tier, and you will be able to find that uh, sometime around, I would guess, mid-November. All right, so here's what I want to talk about for uh, this channel and what November is going to look like, because I don't, I don't really have an idea of what December is going to look like just yet. So I just had a lot of shows either end or about to end. House of the Dragon, which I was covering week to week, that just ended. Uh, the Patient, which I was covering week to week, that just ended. Um, Atlanta... I'm currently covering that has three episodes left. Uh, that airs on Thursday. Uh, so that's a Friday recording. So that's not going to be impacted by my returning into the office on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. That's going to be the big problem is the, the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, so, but, but the Atlanta coverage for those final three episodes will not be uh, impacted. At least not by me going into the office. It's going to be impacted by something else, which is the fact that I started covering the peripheral which is the Amazon show. I'm going to try to see if I can get screeners of that just to kind of help with Friday coverage. As you're about to find out, Friday is going to be a problem for me if I don't get something. But I love the peripheral. I, 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 well, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm going to be covering that every Friday when those episodes drop. So those will uh, that'll be on Fridays as well. That will be unimpeded by my return to the office. Uh, but it's just going to make Fridays really fucking busy. Um, I'm going to put priority on the peripheral, though, so I can tell you that right now. Um, Atlanta videos don't do really that great for me, so there's no point in me uh, pushing that when I already know they don't do that great, and I don't know at all what how the peripheral is going to perform. So I, I, assuming that the peripheral might perform well, I'm going to prioritize that at least at least this upcoming Friday, you know, maybe, you know, once I look at how those numbers play out over the course of the following week, maybe I'll change that, but that's how that stands. Um, right now, I'm still covering The Handmaid's Tale. Um, that comes out on Wednesdays, and there are two more episodes left. Um, obviously, I will be in the office on Wednesday, so uh, getting Handmaid's Tale videos out on Wednesday afternoon is not going to happen for these last two. I'm, I'll say what's likely just going to end up happening, I'm not going to be able to alter... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything that's going to allow me to get those videos out earlier, so you're probably just going to have to uh, sit 
and wait for those until Wednesday night. I apologize. I hate it too, especially with it being the last two episodes, but I, my hands are tied, honestly. Um, so uh, that's just that's just what it is. So I will undoubtedly find a way to have it watched uh, at some point prior to me coming home from work on Wednesday. So that way when I get home from work on Wednesday, on these next two Wednesdays, which will probably be around 6 p.m., I plan on being able to just come into this office where I record these videos and just bang that shit out. Like I don't have any, I, I'm, notes already done, episode already done, all that shit. Just come up here, record it, get it edited, get it up, and hopefully that shit will be uh, up on the channel prior to 8 p.m. on Wednesday. So um, with virtually everything that I cover currently, either having just ended or ending within the next two to three weeks, uh, how am I finishing out the year? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence with covering the White Lotus season two. I didn't like that show as much as everyone else did. I started coverage of season one and I'm like, fuck this show. I'm not, I'm not covering this anymore. I kept watching it and it was fine, but it just wasn't something that to me that even warranted my level of coverage. It was like, it's fine. It's not all that great. It's not all that complex of a show, but you know, I watched the. I will watch the first episode. Season two premieres this Sunday. I watched the first episode, and based on that, I will determine one whether or not I'm even going to do a video for that, <laughs> and then two, if I am, what coverage is going to look like going forward. And if I do cover it every week, that will be an unimpeded Monday uh, video drop as well. I watch it Sunday night, and I record that video Monday morning. Uh, and and if I don't, if I decide to not cover it, I am still going to watch it regardless. My wife's. Uh, into it. Um, so if I don't cover it at all, look for that on Mike's Musing. So um, like I mentioned, like I ran off a list of all the shows that's going to be on Mike's Musings 3. Uh, there's a strong possibility that the White Lotus Season 2 will be included in that as well. Uh, same thing applies to Manifest Season 4. It's coming on Netflix on uh, November 4th. Um, I know I'm not going to cover that. I don't even think that show is that good. <laughs> but, you know, my wife likes to watch it together. So we're going to watch that. But I'm not going to be covering Manifest on this channel. So Manifest will for sure be in Mike's Musings. Uh, with it coming out on 11-4, uh, yeah, you'll probably see that in Mike's Musings 3. Uh, starting November 13th is when things are going to get a little tricky for your boy. Um, I'll be beginning simultaneous coverage of two Taylor Sheridan shows. Uh, the premiere of season five. I'm sorry, the premiere of Tulsa King, uh, which is a, a star Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I'm going to read this description straight from IMDb. It follows an Italian mobster faced with the startling task of reestablishing his Italian mafia family in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That sounds pretty fucking cool. It's a Taylor Sheridan show who um, he is ha has a lot of uh, leeway with me at the moment, so I'm going to give that a shot. Um, that drops on 11-13. That's going to be on Paramount+. Plus. I'll be covering that. That video will probably come out on Mondays. And then um, also season five of Yellowstone premieres on November 13th. That will be another one that will be Monday coverage as well. So Mondays could end up being, like I said, White Lotus getting covered. I, I'd say slim to none chance of that. So um, Mondays in no, starting in mid-November is probably going to be Tulsa King and Yellowstone coverage here. Uh, and, and Yellowstone is 100% certain. That's definitely happening. Uh, Tulsa King I'd say more than likely I'm going to watch the first episode or whatever they put out on the 13th and kind of make that call then. But my plan right now is to do that. And then, um, you know, I'm going to try to get screeners for both of those just to see if I can, you know, maybe get ahead of things. But we'll see. Um, November 17th has a premiere of Netflix's 1899, which is from the same, which is done by the same people who did Dark. And when I say it, when I say brought to you by the people who did that, I actually mean it. So this is actually by the people who did Dark. Whereas some people will be like, us, the same executive producer. So they'll be like, brought to you by this person. And you think that that person made the new thing when really it's brought to me because that person is the executive producer, not because they actually made both things. Well, in this case, this is 1899 is made by the same people who did Dark. I think there's even some of the uh, shared cast, like some of the people who are in Dark are going to be in this. Um, I don't know. I know it's supposed to be eight episodes. I don't know if they're going to drop it all at once or they're going to put it out week to week. I think Netflix is starting to get away from the here's all the episodes at once thing. So I would imagine they're probably going to do week to week. But 
Unfortunately for me, unless I can get screeners, that starts on November 17th, which is a Friday, which means that it is going to be competing. <laughs> well, actually, by November 17th, I don't believe it will com be competing with Atlanta anymore. Uh, but it will be, it will, well, it might not be competing with the peripheral either. Because I believe they, Amazon might be doing two episodes a week of the peripheral. I, I might be making that up. Either way, there's a possibility it could, it could at least be competing with the peripheral. Uh, but if it is, that, that won't be for very long. But that's what Fridays are probably going to look like by the time we reach the end of November. Uh, we're going to have the peripheral in 1899. And then lastly, this is the only thing that I have planned for sure. Um, I've been thinking about trying to expand what I cover to international stuff. You know, I, I've been, I talked about this show Gamora on this channel. I covered the, I put out videos for the first four seasons. I did individual episodes for like the first six or seven episodes of season five and just got away from it. But I do plan on getting those videos done because I did finish season five, the final season. But those videos did be really good for me. My most played video is my Gamora season four recap. So like, I don't know why I've been limiting limited, limiting myself to just like, you know, the stuff that comes out here. I figure, you know, maybe if I expand to like some stuff, like some UK stuff, for instance, I can get that uh, demographic, like the people who live over there who fuck with that, those shows, they can, I can get that coverage, get those eyeballs, plus the people here who fuck with them. So uh, I've been thinking about covering Gangs of London. Uh, I have some interest in that show. Um, I would need to binge season one uh, fairly quickly because season two premieres here in the States on November 17th, but season two is already out in the UK, which is another reason why I kind of lean on doing this show because if I can get to season two in a timely fashion, like say within the next week, week and a half, um, I can acquire season two, watch it and hopefully get those, watch it and hopefully get videos recorded in advance of November 17th so that when November 17th comes and episodes start getting released here, I can pop them out like the, as if I had screeners. So that's kind of my plan on Gangs of London season two. Of course, that is assuming that I watch season one and I'm like, yo, I fuck with this show and I want to cover season two. Assuming that that happens, um, I, I am interested in, in Gangs of London. So I'll be checking that out. So uh, that's all I have for right now. Uh, there's a lot of different things that are coming soon that I just don't have dates for. You know, stuff that's, you know, 2023 releases, uh, you know, The Last of Us, um, Ted Lasso Season 3, whenever that comes out. Um, uh, I don't know. There's all kinds, there are all sorts of things. I have them in my notes in my phone, but I don't have access to my phone at the moment. But that's all I have for right now. I'm going to post on social media. So I hope over the past couple of weeks, you guys have been listening when I say to subscribe to the social media because I'm going to post news and shit on there. Uh, I'm going to post about this video, what it's about, and all that good stuff on social media. And I will see you guys, uh, let's see, tomorrow for uh, the peripheral episodes, episodes three and four, or just episode three. I don't know the fucking release schedule. But whatever it is, the Peripheral tomorrow and Atlanta episode eight, I believe, tomorrow as well. So until then, peace.